good morning students today i explain you what is photosynthesis and the mechanism of photosynthesis students some of you have asked me to teach in telugu so now and then i use telugu okay let us start what is photosynthesis photo means light synthesis means preparation so preparation of food materials like carbohydrates in the presence of light by the plants is what is called as photosynthesis it's so simple plants light energy in use cheskoni food ni prepare chese ee process ne photosynthesis antaru now what is the definition given in textbook in the textbook it is given as photosynthesis is the process by which plants containing chlorophyll build up means prepare complex organic molecules means food that is carbohydrates from relatively simple inorganic molecules means carbon dioxide and water using sunlight as energy source now why food is called complex organic molecules because the food that is carbohydrates they are complex means complex means bigger in structure then organic organic means the molecules which have carbon hydrogen oxygen in their structure are called as organic molecules even carbohydrates have it they have carbon hydrogen oxygen so they are organic molecules now simple inorganic molecules they are carbon dioxide and water why they are called so because they are simple in their structure if you take carbon dioxide it has carbon and two oxygen atoms if you take water it has two uh, hydrogens and one oxygen atom so they are simple in structure and they are inorganic molecules because carbon dioxide contains carbon oxygen but not hydrogen and water contains hydrogen and oxygen but not carbon so they are called as inorganic molecules got it children did you understand the definition now how to represent this process in the form of equation so it is the equation of photosynthesis see here carbon dioxide reacts with water molecules to form glucose and in this process water and oxygen comes out as by products students you have to write balanced equation in the exams that is six carbon dioxide molecules react with 12 water molecules to give rise to glucose and six water molecules and six oxygen molecules got it children now how exactly this photosynthesis takes place that is what is called as mechanism of photosynthesis so in mechanism there are two reactions light dependent reaction light independent reaction they have other names too light dependent reaction is called as photochemical phase light independent reaction is called as biosynthetic phase let us take up light dependent reaction first so light dependent reaction occurs only in the presence of light that means it takes place during sun light period that is day period day time now where does this reaction take place this takes place in grana where is this grana grana are present inside chloroplast see these bundles are grana so light dependent reaction takes place on the surface of grana this reaction has three steps in it let us see what are those steps step 1 step 2 step 3 step 1 is activation of chlorophyll next step 2 photolysis of water step 3 formation of assimilatory powers children try to understand little bit of difficulty is there but no problem you can understand so step 1 is activation of chlorophyll so when light falls on leaves the chlorophyll molecules that are present in chloroplasts they get excited see here chlorophyll molecules take up sunlight and get excited children in chemistry you have studied that if a molecule gets excited that will come back to ground state in fraction of seconds right 
Same thing happens with chlorophyll also. These molecules they take up sunlight and get excited. Then in fraction of seconds they come to ground state. When they come to ground state, the molecules definitely release energy. Right? Excited molecules in ground state which energy in liberate chest. Same way this chlorophyll also liberates energy. That energy is taken by water molecules. Where are these water molecules present? They are present in chloroplast itself. So water molecules take up that energy and undergo splitting process. Splitting means its water splits into H plus and OH minus ions. This process is called as photolysis of water. Lysis means splitting. Photo means light. As sunlight is providing energy for the splitting of water, this step is called as photolysis of water. You got it children? Next, the third step is formation of assimilatory powers. What happens here? The four OH minus ions produced here, they combine with each other and form water and oxygen. So children, it is here oxygen is produced during photosynthesis. Now, what happens to these H plus ions? These H plus ions, they move in the chloroplast and combine with NADP. What is this NADP? NADP means nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate. Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate. What is this? This is also a biological molecule like water, chlorophyll etc. It is present in chloroplast itself. So the H plus ions they go and meet NADP and combines with it to form NADPH. See here H plus ions combining with NADP and NADPH is produced. Children do you remember when electrons move we get electricity. Electrons move in a pretty electricity and energy like that. Ikadukoda, the charged molecules, H plus ions are charged molecules. When they move, they produce energy. During this movement, they produce energy. That energy is taken by ADP molecules. ADP is also another biological molecule like NADP. What is it? Adenosine diphosphate. So, this adenosine diphosphate takes the energy that is released during the movement of H plus ions and combine with PI to form. PI means inorganic phosphate, just phosphate. Remember, just phosphate. So, ADP joins with inorganic phosphate or phosphate to form ATP. Diphosphate becomes triphosphate. So, what is happening in the third step? We are getting NADPH and ATP. These molecules are called as assimilatory powers. Why these molecules are called as assimilatory powers? Because these molecules are utilized in next step that is light independent reaction to form glucose. As these are absorbed in next step, assimilation means absorption. As they are absorbed in next step to produce glucose, these are called as assimilatory powers. Got it children? So this step is called as formation of assimilatory powers. I hope you understood this light reaction, light dependent reaction. First chlorophyll gets excited, then it gets de-excited during this de-excitation or coming to ground state energy is liberated that is trapped by water water gets split splitted up and then assimilatory powers are produced now what happens is light independent reaction where does this reaction take place it takes place in stroma why it is light independent because it does not require light it can take place both in light and dark so it can take place during daytime as well as in night time. Okay, got it children? Yes. Now what happens here? 
the NADPH molecules that are produced in the previous step, they join with, they react with carbon dioxide and produces glucose. See here in this reaction, the H plus ions are moving from NADPH to carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is forming glucose that is C6H2O6. So, the energy required for the reaction of carbon dioxide with H plus is provided by the splitting of ATP here. Children, ATP split hai, ADP and PI ga form out undi, appur konta energy liberate out undi, a energy in use ches koni carbon dioxide H plus ion to bonds form ches kundi. So, the bonds are formed between, between carbon dioxide and H plus ions using the energy liberated during the splitting of ATP. Okay? And then glucose is produced. So, this reaction is called as light independent reaction. So, but children, this reaction is not a single step reaction as I have shown here. It has several intermediates. There are many steps and several intermediates are produced. Not all the intermediates are important. There is one intermediate that is ribulose 1,6 bisphosphate. This is important. Remember the name ribulose 1,6 bisphosphate. It is one of the intermediate in light independent reaction. So, did you understand children? Now, come back here. I told light dependent reaction is called as photochemical phase. Why it is called photochemical phase? See here children what is happening in light independent light dependent reaction. Actually, sunlight is used up and chemicals are produced. NADPH and ATP, they are chemicals. Chemical energy is produced. So, light energy is getting converted into chemical energy. So, this phase is called as photochemical phase. Now, light independent reaction is called as biosynthetic reaction. Why it is called so? Synthetic means preparation, bio means biological molecule. So, in this reaction, biological molecule glucose is produced. So, it is called as biosynthetic reaction. Got it children? Little bit difficult but easy easy if you keenly understand that's it children this is about the mechanism and photosynthesis <laughs>